So how is it possible to put this bottle of water into a freezer for two hours, take it out, it still be liquid, and then make it freeze instantly? I'm Danny, this is Science Fix, let's find out. So we took a bottle of smart water and put it in the freezer for a couple of hours. When you take it out of the freezer, it's still liquid, it hasn't frozen yet. Then put it on the counter and give it a sharp shock. And the water should start to freeze instantly. Okay, so what's going on here? This is a special bottle of water. It's not normal mineral water like you normally buy in the shops, uh, which normally has other chemicals that are in that water. Uh, this is distilled water, so it's pure H2O. So when it comes out of the freezer, its temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius, but it's not a solid. Because it's so pure, it's possible to exist in a supercooled state. It will be possible to get it down to about minus 48 degrees uh, Celsius before another process kicks in um, and freezing would happen anyway. Um, but for very pure water like this, at minus 20, it could be supercooled. So what's normally happening to water that freezes um, at zero degrees um, there's a seed, there's some kind of impurity in the water, it doesn't take much but that little impurity is enough to start the freezing process and there's nearly always some dust or some dissolved chemicals in the water so it will start to freeze. It needs basically a, a thing to kick the process off and they call that nucleation, so a nucleation site. Because the water is so pure in the bottle here, there's nothing to start that freezing process off. So if you carefully take it out of the freezer and then when you're ready to make it freeze you bang the bottle, the shock weighs enough to provide that kickstart to begin the freezing process. So you can try this for yourself. Get a bottle of smart water, uh, put it in the freezer for a couple of hours and then give it a shock and see if it freezes. The best bit is that once you've done that you can leave the bottle to thaw fully and then you can do it again. If you want to see more things like this please subscribe to my channel you'll be notified when more videos are added. I'll be doing more science and educational technology videos in the very near future. Thanks for watching.